Feeding your gut bacteria on a ketogenic diet is very important. Why? Because your bacteria in your stomach and your gut, they don't eat things like fats and you know low carb foods. They need starch. And not just star any starch. They need starch resistant foods. That means you are feeding your bacteria more than you are feeding yourself when you eat these kind of foods. This is a green plantain. It's really good too. It's been boiled, it's been smushed, and put into the oven and baked. It's very good. I put just some salt and cinnamon on it. It's really good. They don't have a lot of flavor. And compared to a ripe banana, they have no sugar and they have no carbs. Again, you're eating this to feed your bacteria. You're not giving yourself sugar and carbs. You're only giving your bacteria what it needs. So when you hear extreme people that are making money off a ketogenic diet, I'd advise you to be careful and do your homework. And look up starch-resistant foods. You need them to feed your bacteria. Otherwise, you can get sick and you can get leaky gut. The more healthier and the more well-fed your bacteria are, the more healthy you will be and the more nutrients you can get from your food. Don't just take my word for it. Don't take someone's word for it that's making money off of diets and scams like that and selling products and stuff. Do your research and look up starch-resistant foods. It's very important for your bacteria. So I love green bananas, and now I now love plantains. Wow, this is really good. So this morning, I had starch-resistant cream of wheat, and the way you do that is... Well, actually, there's like there's a lot of things you can make starch resistant. There's rice, you know, white rice. There's um, green bananas. You don't have to do anything to unless you want to fry their plantains or or bake them. But there's other things you can um, make starch resistant. And the way you do it is you just cook it the day or two days before, and you just put it in the fridge for up to um, you know as long as you like, but at least twelve. I would say a minimum of twelve hours. The bananas, you don't have to put, the, put in the fridge, but the rices, beans, pastas, you put all those in the fridge for at least 12 hours, and then they, are, they become starch resistant, which means they have half the carbs they normally would, and they're feeding your gut bacteria more than they're feeding you. And it's very a very, very good way to cook things. Um, yeah, so... Do your research and again, don't get scammed by people selling diet plans and then you get on these diets and you can't stay on them because they're, they're not sustaining you or they, um, they're not agreeing with your body. So take care.